in this video i will be discussing that how to implement boolean expressions using nmus and in next subsequent videos i will be discussing how to use pmos and cmos as well so this expression is given in the question what is the expression a plus b dot e plus c dot d plus e plus f plus g so here you can see how many inputs are there so 1 2 3 4 5 so e is repeated 6 7 so there are seven inputs in this case so what are those a b c d e f g okay now we have to implement this using nmos so while implementing using nmos so one thing we need to keep in mind so if there is a plus symbol in the expression then that is represented as a parallel line if there is a dot symbol or multiplication is there then that is represented with a series so that is series so that means it is a AND gate and this will be your OR gate so this is we have to keep in mind before solving this so one by one we will be doing so first let us start with the first term which is A plus B ok so whatever inside the bracket you will try to do it first so A plus B how we can how I can represent A plus B so one thing also you can notice here so how many plus terms are there so i can consider a plus b into 1 this is 1 c into d as 1 then e as 1 then f as 1 and g as 1 so if i consider this 1 2 3 4 5 and they all are in the plus that means they are going to be in parallel so how many parallel lines will have i ha will have so simply what i will do so here I will give my VDD that I know in NMOS VDD will be given here and there will be how much parallel lines so there will be so 1 like this 2 3 4 and 5 parallel lines will be there that I know how I know that is because in the uh, problem so there are 5 OR gates are, that means 5 uh, plus symbols are there so 5 terms are there which is connected in uh, plus that means with parallel. So first one is a plus b into e. So how do I do a plus b? So a plus b means it is a parallel path. So that is my a and that is my b. So this is b, I will take this as a. So they are in parallel. Now a plus b is in series with e. So how do we do? So just in series connect one more n more. So that will be your e here, right? And this will be grounded. That will do in the last. So what is the next term c dot d so in the second one so there are two nmos are there so one is c and another one is your d c and d are in series so again this is one path in the third term what is there so one more gate is there so that is e now the question here is e is already used here so how it can be used so either you write here e it is also correct or else what you can do you can draw a line which connects this e to this e so they are internally connected so that's how you can take it so vdd is here so remember these points are connected at this one and this one so here uh, means uh, at this point at this point it is not connected that you should keep in mind okay this is one line next line is f so that means i have another uh, <coughs> parallel path which is sorry so this is my f and last one I have g so this is my g so as all are connected in parallel so I will connect one line and I will connect that to ground ok so this is my source side this is my drain side and to all the gates there are other in uh, they all are the inputs right so now the same problem you can implement using uh, your uh, <coughs> PMOS also in PMOS what will happen it will be exactly opposite what we did in the NMOS so in the next video I will be explaining how to implement this in the PMOS.